Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tag video. This tag video I've seen by a few YouTubers that I follow. I think this originates from the lovely Georgia Harris. So if you haven't checked out her channel, please do go ahead and do so. I am subscribed to all three ladies that I have watched do this tag video. I have seen Diana Hoffman Lawson do it. I have seen Sonia Diamonds do it and obviously the lovely Georgia Harris. If you've done it too, please let me know so I can head over and watch your video. If this video is something that appeals to you, please do go ahead and do this tag video too. I'm tagging everyone, so if you have a channel, please do go ahead and do it. So, I've written everything down on a piece of paper. I watched through Georgia Harris's video and just noted everything down as we went along. Um, so yeah, I shall probably look down a little bit because I'll be reading off the questions and then I will kind of give you the answers as best I can. So let's get straight into it, shall we? So number one is, how long have you been collecting makeup? So that doesn't necessarily mean how long have you had makeup, but how long have you been a collector? So I would say I have been collecting makeup for approximately two years now. Um, yeah, it must be about two whole years. It seems like a lifetime, but it really isn't. So yeah, I think it's two years. Number two says, what kind of collection do you have? And it's been noted a few different types for you to kind of choose between. So I'll reel them off to you and then I'll talk you through my response. So have you got a historical and aesthetic Minimal or utilitarian, I think is what it says. Um, yeah, I know what it means anyway, but um, I can't say a few words, guys. So, which do I think my collection is? I think really most of those things would come into my collection. There's parts of my collection that are very aesthetic. Um, so at the moment, my dressing table looks very aesthetically pleasing because my dressing table is white and I've got all my white palettes out and it looks just beautiful. I love it sometimes. I change my dressing table probably about once a month. Um, I take everything off. I give it a real good thorough clean and I put new things on there. Now and again, I love it so much that I just put the same things back where they were but um, overall I do change it um, at the moment I'm enjoying having white products on there not necessarily the actual product itself but the casing if you get what I mean packaging um, so there's that I like it to be aesthetically pleasing uh, and I suppose the only one that it doesn't come into it with me is minimal I don't have a minimal collection I have quite the opposite <laughs> So, I think the only way to describe what type of collection I have is large. That does, I don't really know what else to describe it as. Okay, so number three is, are you a completionist? And the answer to that, honestly, is yes. Um, this is a really hard video for me to do, actually, because I'm having to be honest with people. And it goes further than that because I have my health issues um i struggle with obsessions and i i am a completionist with anything not just makeup i have these real issues with color so whether it's handbags shoes makeup clothes um earrings bags you name it in life I've always had obsessions with anything that's colour related because I have this really big obsession with things matching and it's not necessarily logically how other people would match it but it's just my logic, like I like things to go in my mind. Um, I'm sure a lot of you probably wouldn't agree that things go or you would do the same things but yeah, I have big issues with matching things up and um, so I... If I ever, like, for example, let's say Revolution bring out a set of four eyeshadow palettes and I really have liked them, so I buy all four of them. They might only be £4, for example, so I've spent £16 on these four eyeshadow palettes. They're exactly the same layout, and then two months later they bring out another four. Well, then if I don't buy them, I haven't got the full set. They look nice enough, they're only £4, so I buy them. So yes, I am a completionist. If I like a specific brand and I've started buying something, I tend to look out for 
the next one. So like Anastasia Beverly Hills, for example, I'm always looking and waiting for the next one to come out. So yeah, I do look for things to complete my set. So I like, it's aesthetically pleasing and if I like the brand enough to have bought it, then I'm going to like what they bring next potentially. So I always tend to watch out for the new things. So yeah, I am a completionist. So number four is how do you store or organise your makeup? Now, um, if I'm being honest, I wish I could make it look better than it does, but I do the best I can. So I have got a great big white dressing table from Ikea that has the big pull out drawer. That's chocker. I then have each end of the dressing table, a small white drawer unit underneath. So there's a gap in the middle for me to pull my chair in and put my legs under, but there's two like white units inside the dressing table. And then either side of the dressing table, I don't know if you've seen those plastic storage towers where you get like four plastic boxes that slide out of the tower. I've got one of those one side of my dressing table and then two the other side. And then I do have on a chest of drawers a bit further around a draw unit which was an advent calendar from look fantastic the year before last and i kept it to keep all of my um kylie jenner makeup in and then next to that there's a plastic storage unit that's got the drawers and then the tiered plastic tray where you can put your lipsticks in the slots and that so i've got one of them there because i couldn't put it anywhere else really so my makeup does take up a lot of space i do have quite a bit um, and inside the drawers I've tried to section off in a couple of them so I can get different types of products in like um, old subscription boxes to separate the drawer in half so you can have like for example you could have like um, single eyeshadow liquid in one half of the drawer and then powder ones in the other half or you know something like that not necessarily how I've done it but um, you get the gist so yeah so I have the dressing table, one plastic drawer unit one side, two the other sides, and then a couple of storage things on top of the chest of drawers round to the side on another wall. Um, so yeah, that's how I store things. They're stored in drawers, inside boxes. I have things in storage units. I have a couple of storage units on top of my dressing table. I have some of my lipsticks stored along the mirror of my dressing table. Um, so yeah. I do the best I can. In all reality, it would be nice to have a room, a dressing room where I can keep my clothes and makeup um, and not have it in my room because there is a lot of it. Number five, what is your favourite thing about your collection? My favourite. So now this is another difficult question for me because I don't dislike any of my collection. Um, I buy it because I love it. And what do, what's my favourite thing? I suppose it would have to be the choice of eyeshadow I have. Now, I have too much option, really. Um, I collect because I want to, and I love it. Um, I'm aware of how much I've got. So I think, yeah, it's the choices of eyeshadows I've got because, because of my obsession with colours, um, the more options I have with eyeshadow, the better. I feel less stressed and less anxious each day about the way I'm going to look once I'm ready to go out if I'm well enough to put the makeup on I feel more confident about myself and that I'm going to look okay because I've got enough colour option for my eyes if that makes any sense probably sounds a bit bonkers to other people that don't have the same issues as me um, but there you go Number six is, what is your least favourite thing about your collection? I don't really have least favourite things about my collection. Other than it takes up too much room for a bedroom and I'd probably like to have it elsewhere in another room, as I've already pointed out. Number six, what is your least favourite thing about or something to improve your collection? What could I do to improve my collection? I'm not sure I could do anything to improve my collection um, other than 
using things up that I don't need multiples of to lower the numbers a little bit. I think that's probably about it. But I'm definitely not interested in using stuff for the sake of using it to get it out of my collection. I want to be able to use everything and enjoy it. So number six is what is your least favourite thing about or something to improve your collection? And I suppose it's not directly about my collection, although it is. So I say my least favourite thing about my collection is where it's placed. Um, and that's only because when I'm trying to film videos, it makes things super awkward because my makeup setup is along the wall where my windows of my bedroom are. I've got um, two windows and then a bit of wall in the middle of that whole wall. Um, there's only a tiny bit of wall either end in the corner of the room, then the two windows, then a middle wall. That middle wall is only wide enough to have a TV on it. Um, so the TV is above my dressing table. And so in the winter months, I have to turn the camera around the other way so that it's facing the windows um, so I can use my ring light because there's not enough natural light. And because of where my home is situated, I have to close the curtains. So, of course, then when it starts getting brighter, I then have to rechange everything I'm doing about filming. So it can be a bit of a pain. Um, but yeah, I'm now started to film my videos so that you are all sat on my dressing table looking back the other way. But once again, then you're seeing all of my bedroom. Um, which I'm not over keen on, but you know, it is my living space. It's what I do with my time and I'm proud of my collection. Number seven says, what is the biggest category of your collection? And I can answer that quite quickly. The biggest category of my collection is my eyeshadow palettes. I've got an abundance of eyeshadow palettes. I'd hate to think how many palettes I actually own. Uh, yeah, it's definitely eyeshadow. Number eight is what is the smallest category of your collection? And hmm, that's a difficult one. And I'm going to go with eyebrow products. I think it might be eyebrow products. And that's because I don't find it overly exciting and I am useless at it. So I have got plenty of items to try, although... I don't buy tons. I think I've only got as much as I have because of subscription boxes, if I'm being completely honest with you. So I think the smallest part of my collection is eyebrow products. And then again, show it, if I was to show you, you'd probably think it was insane, you know, telling you that's the smallest part of my collection because there is still quite a bit. Um, so number nine is, do you have a holy grail product in your collection? And my holy grail has to be foundation because of my acne and my dark circles. So I couldn't be without my foundation. It does, however, need to be full coverage. Light to medium just doesn't do it for me, guys. Not good enough. Number 10 is, do you ever wish your collection was bigger, smaller, or is it complete? Oh, gosh, what a question for somebody like me with the sort of collection I've got. So, okay, let's work our way through all three of those. So, do I wish it was bigger? Uh, yes, because you can never have too much makeup in that I love it and I love variation and I love new things. I love seeing new ideas, new concepts. So, I can't pretend that I wouldn't want to have more. So, in essence, the answer is yes. Do I wish it was smaller? Yes and no. No, because I love my collection very, very fondly and I wouldn't want it to, I wouldn't want to lose anything. Although, yes, because I wish it didn't take up as much space, but that's not because I want to decrease the size. It's just I kind of wish it, I could condense it and make it look a bit more minimal. Number 11 is how often do you declutter makeup in your collection? And the simple, straightforward answer to that, guys, I'm ashamed to say, is not enough. I have issues with um, parting with things. I only ever buy things because I'm attached and I really want it. So to declutter is hard work for me. 
when I do and manage to do it, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm one of them people that feels like I deserve a gold medal for actually managing to declutter one item. Um, it is a real task for me. It's really hard work. And yeah, I am currently working on a project that is helping me to declutter, but it's not a declutter. Um, and you will find out about that in due course because I will film about that at some point. So watch out for that in the future. Um, I'm trying to find a way to help myself there. Um, much as I want to help myself, like I say, the difficulty is, is that I don't particularly want to lose products because I like it all. So, you know, it is what it is. Number 12 is, do you ever get envious seeing other people's collections? And I know this might sound a bit big headed, but no, honestly, um, I'm not necessarily envious of other people's collections because I've got quite a big collection myself and I don't often see people that have got collections the same size or bigger than mine um, so that would be why I suppose the only thing I can ever be envious of is there being specific products in someone's collection that I may have wanted at some point that I couldn't get whether it's because I couldn't afford it at the time it was a limited edition or um, it sold out so I suppose there is that little bit of envy in products I can't physically get my hands on that I've really wanted. So yeah, I suppose I could answer it yes or no, really. So last two questions. Number 13 is, who on YouTube has the best makeup collection in your opinion? Oh gosh. Now, I don't feel like I've seen enough to give a really good answer for this. So I've seen smaller YouTubers do this more than I have like the bigger YouTubers um, and I think realistically I'm not sure if anyone's got a better collection than somebody like um, Tati Westbrook I'm not sure if there's going to be better than that um, who else oh crikey Jeffree Star maybe um, I honestly can't think of anyone else so yeah we'll just go with Tati I think and the last and final question of this makeup tag is what's some advice you'd give to a future collector um, it's difficult for me to give anybody advice because obviously I don't have the same logic as most of you I'm, I'm different as a person I'm different I personally have um, OCD traits, I have hoarding issues, I have obsessions with colour um, and um, I feel the need to have things um, otherwise I feel uncomfortable um, so it's difficult to give somebody that's starting out a collection advice because obviously my collection grew bigger and bigger quite quickly at one point so I mean, I think realistically, my advice would be don't feel pressured by other people. Um, you don't need to buy the most expensive makeup. I've learned there's there's things that I've got in the high end brand and I've got dupes for, which at some point I'll do videos for. Um, but sometimes the dupes are are perfectly ample enough not to spend that much of a difference. So I would say just don't always go with the high end try to bargain with yourself um you know the crazy thing is is i can give you all these tips but i can't take them on board myself because of my own issues but um yeah so it might seem a bit hypocritical but i know what sort of advice i can see other people's points of view with things as well um yeah you can see i'm getting stressed look at the state of my neck i don't mean to be doing it either yeah I'm getting anxious because I'm being honest, I suppose. So, yeah, um, just don't ever feel pressured by other people. Don't feel like you have to have the latest things all the time. And, and don't feel like you have to have the most expensive of things. You really don't need to. You can look really good on a budget. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend Poundland. I've just done a Poundland full face of makeup, which is what I'm wearing now. I wouldn't recommend that. But by all means, going to Primark or order from Revolution or slip into Superdrugs for Revolution. Um, if you're in the high street, definitely Revolution is the better brand. Um, I don't go much or much else 
I can find little bits from certain brands in stores in the higher street, but it really is quite sketchy. Um, and I'm not being a snob because I do actually own quite a bit of high street brand products, but you have to be quite picky about what you're buying in the high street. There are items that I could recommend. Um, so yeah, there's some lovely foundations and powders in the shops, um, like the Fit Me foundation and concealers and powders. They're brilliant. Absolutely love those. Um, couldn't recommend them enough. So yeah, just don't feel pressured with anything at all. Also, don't do don't feel like you've got to do things a certain way. Do what's comfortable for you. Um, just because somebody thinks that this is better or you should do it that way, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to do it. Don't feel uncomfortable with doing something that you don't you wouldn't normally do. Um, I've been there and done that and um, you just just adapt to your own style do things your own way we're all unique there's no right or wrong way um, makeup is an art and there's no wrong way so just enjoy it is is my best advice there enjoy your makeup enjoy your collection and don't feel hassled by anyone about the size of your collection whether it's too small perfect or too big don't don't feel like um you owe it to anybody to explain your collection or do things a certain way because of somebody else so guys if you enjoyed my video please do um give me a thumbs up um i'm sorry that was a little bit deep at points but of course um it was quite difficult for me but i decided to kind of go ahead and do it anyway um, because it can be fun doing this sort of video so it, it's good for me to try and address um, my makeup and my makeup collection because I'm sure a few of you are probably curious about my collection so yeah thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch me um, take care of yourselves and I'll see you all again in my next video thank you for watching bye guys